welcome to another Bobo and Kids Workout. I'm Bobo and these are my kids, Prayer and Zeta. Today we want to shout out a fan named Story. Thank you so much for watching. You're awesome. Keep it up. So preparing for today's workout has been a little while. I'm having trouble finding a fax machine, which I mean, they're really old and you can't find them anywhere. And I don't really know what it has to do with that workout. Um, Appa, today is fitness and facts, like true things. Oh yeah, fitness and facts. Oh. Facts about what, like mathematics? Yeah, like did you know that dolphins have names for each other? Uh, that's not what I... No, yeah, that's good. Let's go with that animal facts. Okay then, that's perfect, because I have some really interesting animal facts here in my brain head that I love to share with you all as we work out. In fact, I came up with some exercises that are like the animals. Pretty cool, huh? Before we go, make sure you're nice and stretched and warmed up. So you can check out our stretching video linked in the description below. Okay, first one is the cassowary kick. Okay, these creatures are truly fascinating. They're the third largest bird in the world after the ostriches and the emus. Shut up, birds! And they're also known as possibly the world's most dangerous bird. <gasps> That's right, if they feel threatened, they might kick you with their long, sharp claws. That can really hurt. So, don't make them upset. Don't tell them how funny they look. Okay, there's, there's none here, we're good. Okay, so this is what the workout looks like. Put your arms here, here are your flappers. You can squat down, come up with the kick. Squat, come up with a kick. Okay, ready? Here we go. Squat, kick, squat, kick, squat, kick, squat, up with the kick, down with the squat. Did you also know that cassowaries make low rumbling sounds that humans can barely even hear because it's so low? Yeah, people think that that's how dinosaurs might have even communicated with each other. So go ahead and make a low rumbling. Like that. Okay, that was awesome, you guys. All right, now let's do the cassowary fly. Just kidding, they don't actually fly. That would be terrifying. But they are fly. Yeah. Okay, who loves squirrels? Me too. They're kind of funny, huh? You get a little crazy. <laughs> Oh right, sorry, sometimes I get a little nutty. Oh, that reminds me, did you know that squirrels are part of the reason why we have so many trees? Yeah, because you know how squirrels like to bury nuts and they come back from later? Well, sometimes they forget where they bury those nuts and those nuts just end up becoming trees. Isn't that funny? Oh, does that mean that all those car keys have grown into cars? No. Oh, good. So that's what our workout is going to look like. We're gonna pick some nuts from the trees, we're gonna bend down, and bury them, and then we're gonna forget where they went. Where did they go? Okay, and then pick some nuts, bend down and bury them. Where did they go? All right, ready? Do it with me, here we go. Get some nuts, get some nuts. We're burying them, we're burying them. And where did they go? Where did they go? Get some nuts, get some nuts. Bury them, bury them. Where did they go? Where did they go? Get some nuts, get some nuts. And bury them! Bury them! Where did they go? Where did they go? And did you also know that squirrels will adopt other abandoned baby squirrels? Isn't that sweet? Where did they go? Where did they go? Great job, you guys! Maybe when squirrels are actually able to find some of these nuts, they consider them treats. Huh? Ooh, a butterfly! Where? We already stretch. Oh, you mean you saw one? That reminds me, did you know that butterflies taste with their feet? Ew! I know, it's gross, but it's probably nice for them when they land on those flowers, they don't have to bend down to taste them, they save their back all that egg. Wouldn't it be nice if we could taste with our feet? Then everything would taste like sweat! Oh, gross, I didn't think of that. But that reminds me of a fun workout. Let's try to taste with our feet. Here's what we'll do, we'll stand straight here like this, then Bend down and flap our wings. We come up, bend down, flap our wings. We're tasting that food down below and up. All right, let's do it. Ready? Here we go. 
Flap those wings, taste that food. Yeah, what do we got on the ground? I'm gonna drop the burrito, yum, eat it. Oh, all those loose pasta noodles, eat them up. Oh, lots of quinoa on the ground, eating those. Oh, breadcrumbs, yummy, yummy. Eating those up. Bend down, flat. Okay, you guys were spectacular. Did you also know that butterflies are poisonous to eat? Isn't that wonderful? We get to enjoy their beauty because predators don't eat them. So I better take those off my grocery list. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mama didn't write that down. Now that we've tasted and we've seen, let's punch in with some punches. That's such a small punch, Papa. Yeah, but it was fast. Kind of like the mantis trip. Did you know that the mantis trip are the fastest punching creatures in the world? Even faster than Bruce Lee. <laughs> Good, except it's an answer to a question. What do shrimp need? <laughs> so let's do some shrimp punches. Let's punch the air and do it fast and quick. <laughs> the wata part is optional. Got your little claws up here and punch. <laughs> you also know that if you don't handle these correctly and if they punch you, that can really hurt. These little guys can hurt humans. Fast, faster. Okay, good job you guys. Awesome punching friends. That's one shrimp cocktail I would not eat. It packs quite a punch. <laughs> Okay, let's get a jump on the next one. Oh, that's good. That reminds me, did you know that I'm the goat of jumping? Goat? Like the greatest of all time? No way! I mean like, I jump like a goat. Like this. <laughs> See? Goats can jump actually up to five feet. That's like jumping on top of me. Isn't that impressive? Let's try to do goat jumps ourselves. Ready? Here we go. Goat jumps. Down and jump. Like that. Let's go. Okay, but don't scream like one. Now all you bully goats out there, you be called Billies and Bucks. Oh, you girl goats out there, you be called Does and Nannies. Did you know that people milk goats before they milk cows? Goat milk is actually healthy for you. Zadok knows, right? Goat milk is a goat milk. He has eczema, it's good for him. Okay, Whew. you guys were not bad. Alpha, are you running out of jokes? Ah! Never. Well, that's the good ones. But speaking of running, did you know what animal is a really good runner? Cheetah. That's right, that's the fastest land mammal. And of course, there's other fast ones like antelopes and gazelles and wildebeest and lion and greyhound. But you know what also is one of the fastest runners that you might not expect? What? Who told you that? I mean, that's true some of the time, but not all the time. Sometimes I just get really excited. I hear something and I start wanting to talk about it. Uh -huh. Sorry. Well, you guys don't know Jack? No, I mean Jack rabbits or hares. Well, speaking of hares, you know, mine grow really fast as well. Uh, yeah, jackrabbits are actually the eighth fastest land animal in the world. Those little guys can run as fast as 45 miles per hour. That's faster than the 405. So that's our workout. We're gonna run like a jackrabbit, really fast, in place. Ready? Just like this, and let's go. Put your ears back, run. Woo. Little rabbits. Ooh, this is a good workout. Sorry to feel like a tortoise. But keep going! Move those little rabbit feet! Okay! Whoa, oh, you guys were speedy! That was awesome! Alright, well, I didn't get enough of that jumping. So now we're gonna jump like an elephant. Oh yeah, it's pretty crazy. What do you guys think an elephant jumps like? Show me, ready? Go! Oh, yeah, okay, well some of you got it because I'll show you what an elephant jumps like, like this. That's right, elephants can't jump. They're only one of a few mammals in the world that can't jump, and thank goodness because they would probably cause some earthquakes. You should still probably not play Jenga near them. All right, you guys were wild and awesome. 
that is the end of our workout. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you had fast fun with our fitness and facts. Oh, it's a fact. Oh good, it's about pandas. They just fall asleep wherever. They don't have any designated beds or anything. Sounds like my kind of animal. Fact. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Thank you again for joining us. Make sure you hit that big thumbs up button to like this video if you did. And make sure you hit that big red subscribe button so you can catch all of our videos. We had so much fun with you guys. Until next time, don't forget, eat your veggies, say your prayers, and be a little silly.